Now for the last part, we've got to work out the angle to the nearest degree that the direction of r makes with the vector j, the unit vector j, which acts vertically upwards. So in other words, if I put j in here, just as a vector, OK, there we go, j, then the angle that we're looking to find has to be this angle in here. And to work out that angle, if I got this angle here, let's say it's alpha, then I've just got to add it to 90 degrees to get theta. Okay? So we start then with trying to get alpha. And all we do is work from this right angle triangle then using basic trigonometry. We know that the tan of alpha, tan alpha, compares the opposite side to the adjacent. That would be 3 to 12. 3 over 12 or a quarter. So to work out alpha, we just need to do the inverse tan of 3 twelfths or a quarter, 0 0.7, did I say 0 0.75? I really meant 0 0.25, sorry. Okay, so uh, if you do that, make sure you're in degrees mode and uh, you should get 14.0362 and so on. Okay, degrees. So when it comes to working out what that angle is, we'll call it theta then, that angle theta equals 14.0362 and so on, added to 90 degrees. And we've got to give the answer to the nearest degree. What we end up with is in fact 104.0362, which is going to be 104 degrees to the nearest degree. So, nice easy one there, okay, hopefully no problems.